Humdi dum dum. I think I got my voice down. Time to visit Brandon and see if it works. Well, I'm here. No backing out now. I'm suddenly really nervous. Hey, Kai. It's the weekend. Why did you? Wait, who are you? Kai's cousin or something? She's kind of cute. And he immediately found out. Maybe I can still play it off. What are you talking about? It's me, Kai. Yeah. No, you're not. You're obviously trying to make your voice deeper, but you're clearly a girl. Plus, you're like half a foot shorter than he is. Anyway, your face is similar, so you're obviously related. Want to come inside? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Now that he mentions it, I am quite a bit shorter now. Brandon's always been tall, but now he's huge. So tell me, how are you related to Kai? He sent me a text earlier saying he had something urgent to tell me. If he was trying to set us up on a date, then I'm all for it. I forgot how much of a flirt you are. I, um, I wasn't lying. I really am Kai. I was feeling strange yesterday. Then when I woke up this morning, I was like this. Geez, my hair grew out again. You've got to be joking. Sure, Kai's a little feminine, but there's no ambiguity with you. I'm dead serious. Okay, I'll bite. In the third grade, we snuck out during school. Where'd we go? You're asking questions. Fair enough. We went to that old treehouse in the forest to play the newest game that just came out. What was Kelsey's nickname for you? Teddy, because she hugged me like a teddy bear. Who did you find attractive? This is going to go on for a while, huh? What was your favorite? Wait, what are you doing? Don't mind me. Keep on asking your questions. I just need a little release. No social awareness at all. More than the questions, this convinced me more that you're Kai. So you believe me? I don't know. Maybe. This is all too weird. Tell me about it. Imagine waking up to having breasts. I wrapped them to try passing off as a guy, but that obviously failed. Ah, uh, you have no idea how good this feels. Wow, I think they got bigger. Boobs. So do you have any more questions? What can I say to prove that I'm me? Why is he looking at me like that? Wait, is he looking at me like that? I'm not sure if I'm mentally prepared to be attractive to guys. On the other hand, I could have a lot of fun with this. Hey, Brandon, you never answered my question. What? What question? What can I do to convince you that I'm Kai? Don't look down her shirt. Don't look down her shirt. Darn it! I can't look away. I, um, I don't. Hey, Brandon, I'm home. Oh, who's this? Good morning. Who might you be? I'm Kimmy. I'm Kai's, um, cousin. Kimmy, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Brandon's mother. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for having me in your home. My, my, so polite. Brandon, go grab some snacks for your friend. Wait, there's no need. I was just about to leave. I'll walk you back to Kai's. Give me a moment to get changed. Thanks, Brandon. That'd be great. Alone with Brandon's mom. She's giving me an intense stare. So, Kimmy. Um, yes? This might not be my place to ask. But is there a reason you're not wearing a bra? Oh, no. In my rush this morning, I must have forgotten to put one on. Oh, right. I forgot about that since I used the wrap. That's an impressive thing to forget. I'd avoid doing so in the future. You'll draw unwanted attention from the boys. I know my son noticed. What did I notice? Nothing, nothing. Okay. Kai, I mean, Kimmy, are you ready to go? I am now. Thanks again for having me over. Of course. Come over anytime. So, what did you talk about with my mom? That I have big boobs and wasn't wearing a bra. I think she didn't want me to corrupt her precious boy. I see.
You really are Kai, aren't you? That's what I've been trying to say. This is just too weird. I've been wondering, did your hair get longer? Again? This is getting ridiculous. Mind if we stop by the barber? Sure, no problem. What's this? It's closed? I was just here right before I got to your house. Excuse me, can I get through? You're blocking my door. Oh, sorry. Do you work here? Are you opening up soon? I do work here, but we are closed for... Wait, is that the same girl who came in right before I changed? Her hair grew out and her breasts are much larger. She's most likely related to me changing into a woman. You know what? I think I can open up, just for you, on one condition. You let me do a complete makeover, outfit and everything. What? I don't think I can afford that. It'll be on the house. What do you say? You're serious? Then yeah, that sounds great. Sorry, Brandon. This might take longer than expected. You can head home if you want. And miss you getting dolled up? No way. This does seem like a scam. I better stay to make sure she's safe. Well, that should about do it. What do you think? You did amazing. I can't believe it's me. Are you sure I can get this for free? Just return the clothes after you're done. Why are you doing so much for me? To be honest, I was a man before. Whoa, really? Congrats, you look amazing. Thanks, but that's not what I meant. I was the man who cut your hair earlier today. I turned into a woman shortly after you left. I think you caused it somehow. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Calm down, I'm not angry. Quite the opposite. Judging by your reaction, you know something about this, don't you? Not really. I randomly turned into a girl this morning. So you were a boy before too, but don't know what's going on? Basically. No matter. Let's keep in contact. If either of us finds anything out, let the other know. Now let's go show you off to your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. I wonder if that's really Kai. I saw her hair grow. It might be the most elaborate prank ever. Ready, Mr. Boyfriend? Here she comes. Hey there, Brandon. How do I look? Huh, I don't feel embarrassed. In fact, now that I've dressed up. I'm really comfortable in this body. Whoa, you look great. Prank or not, I get to hang out with a cute girl. I'll see you later. Let me know if you find out anything. Of course. Thank you for everything. What was she talking about at the end? Oh, apparently she was a man before, and turned into a woman after giving me a haircut this morning. I see. Of course something like that happened. Wait, does that mean I'll turn into a girl? I honestly don't know. The barber changed pretty quickly, so I'd think you would have changed by now. Are you afraid? Want to go home? No, I'll see it through to the end. If I do become a girl, I bet I'll be even hotter than you. Have you seen this body? That's impossible. <laughs>